I need to know everything Who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying But act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche with five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost I need to know everything Now you be surprised at the info you get Is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science Then let them in, talk up their body Another one body, that's just how it go I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game So they stay on their toes Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go I can't play with the pros And act like a rookie, so they overlook me Then not double up again, none of their nose None of them cold so I'm thinking about switching over to, well, not thinking, I am. A little while back I made a video on switching from Final Cut Pro to DaVinci Resolve. And that didn't pan out so well for me. For the most part I've been using Final Cut Pro ever since, still. And I got a few good reasons on why I first didn't switch to DaVinci Resolve and B, why I am switching over to Premiere Pro. Resume is a heavy weight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah Leaving Final Cut Pro for good At least for now And I kind of put a stamp on it I can't really turn back even if I wanted to You see I just sold my iMac on eBay I was gonna trade it into Apple This is how this whole thing started I was hearing rumors of a new iMac drop in soon Which it definitely is I mean they're about to they're switching over to their own chipsets. And I started looking into it and I started looking at the price of a high end, super high end iMac, which is gonna be somewhere between $3,500 and $5,000. And if they do a whole new redesign, there's a good chance that they might add a few more bucks onto that price tag. And then I start looking at the specs of what I can get out of a computer for around three, four $4,000. And it's insane. By the way, I'm at Lake Wampon Pack. Lake Wallam Paw Pack here in Pennsylvania. This beautiful, beautiful site. I love this lake. We're gonna, Vanessa and I are gonna get some boats going within the next couple of weeks. Do a nice little video on it. But yeah, I'm like, all this money that I could spend on a new machine, I can get way more bang for my buck if I just build my own custom PC. So I threw my iMac on eBay. The price that I was able to sell it at on eBay was about double from what Apple was offering me on a trade-in. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna have to go that route, which means I'm gonna have to give up Final Cut Pro. So whatever, it'll be a little bit of a learning curve for me, but I picked up DaVinci Resolve in like four days, five days. My computer was a 2017. It runs great. It does its thing, but I really feel like I needed to step it up a little bit, especially now picking up the R5. I want to be able to have a computer that can handle that type of power with no problem. Now on my current iMac that I just sold, I did install Premiere Pro and I tried using it and it did hang up a lot. And it seemed like in order to edit on my iMac, I would have had to do nothing but edit in proxies. I don't like slowing myself down. If I have to do it every once in a while, you know, maybe I get some AK shots that I wanna punch into. I could always proxy those, but not really interested in doing it every time I edit a video. Also, I really like the color grading experience in Adobe Premiere. Now, of course, DaVinci Resolve is the best. It's the best running editing software out there, meaning it handles large files extremely well. It takes big advantage of your GPU if you have a really powerful GPU. And Premiere still isn't there, but I think with a really crazy setup, we'll be all right. Now, the reason why I didn't wind up sticking to DaVinci Resolve was it's not really YouTuber friendly yet. I might play with it a little bit more once I get the new PC in. I can't get the job done anywhere near on Resolve that I can in Final Cut Pro. This girl just waved to me, so I guess she wants to be on camera. Come on, let's get a little trick shot here. Nothing, huh? You shy away once the camera's on you. She's like, no, no, he's the YouTuber. Yeah, he's the YouTuber. I waved at him and then he pointed the camera at me. Well, what should we do? I mean, I can only spin in like circles and splash water. I think that's good enough. I think that's all he's looking for. Look, he's still pointing the camera. I mean, all right, I'll see what I could do. You better not fall, Charlie. You fall, I'm posting this all over the YouTubes. There you go. Show me something, baby. Give me something. There we go, Charlie. That's it, Charles. That's it, Charles. All right, now you, sweetie, you do something. You guys should do a figure eight. This really has to be one of the most beautiful spots. It probably is the most beautiful spot and lookout anywhere near where I live. It is gorgeous over here. Look at this. Look at this. 
my goodness gracious so yeah this is actually a really big leap man i think this is a little bit scarier than switching camera systems when i switched from sony to canon i was super excited about it a little worried but i said you know what i got this best move i ever made one thing i am gonna miss is mac os i love macs i do not like windows i mainly use my computer for editing anyway so i don't think i'm gonna have too much of a problem with it if any of you guys have any recommendations for any plugins or transition packs or just anything cool for Premiere Pro, make sure you drop it down below. I'd definitely be interested in checking it out. One thing I did come across was Red Giant Magic Bullet Suite, and man, that looks sweet. I know Film Convert Nitrate is a good look too. They just dropped that for Final Cut Pro. I played around with it. It's a nice nice little plug in there also if you guys have any tips or tricks that you want to recommend one thing i do know is to enable gpu accelerator i know that you can cut your playback speed down to like a half or a quarter just to make it run even better but anything else anything you guys want to add please drop it down below it'll be big help all right i'm starving i'm gonna go pick up an s and get some food We got a new puppy. New puppy! His name is Nuke. Yeah, we named him after Nuke's top five. That's how big of a fan we are. Yeah, we love Nuke's top five. We're obsessed with that. I wish I can get three episodes a week instead of one. Yeah. Every Monday. Damn it, Nuke. <laughs> top 500 scary ghosts caught on camera. She had to copy me with the nose ring. I got my nose pierced before he dyed his hair, just in case you guys. And then now she that. now she wants to bleach her hair like me too. I did the this. The original myself, schedule the was plan was for me to go gray what say who say you say son. who i say what so the imac sold already yeah you didn't tell me it sold today it sold this morning how much like did you sell it for one million all right we gotta find food yo we are so impatient we could not wait i'm sorry yeah we couldn't wait we went to this place called Hudson Taco. The best tacos I've ever had. Oh my God. Yeah. It's really good. It's really freaking good. Empanadas are banging. We couldn't wait, man. We just had to dig in. So we eat and drive in and film it at the same time. Definitely try this at home. It's completely safe. All right, that's it for this one, my people. We are gonna head home. I gotta walk the little boy, Kobe. His son is going down. Vanessa's eating all my food, so I gotta get off the camera with you. <laughs> Thumbs up if you enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on the greatest content ever. <clears throat> right hand. Enjoy. I got grease on it. Well, I like chicken put grease. that greasy shit on your forehead. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your night. Enjoy tomorrow morning. Salute! Everything. I want everything. That's on everything. It's like a weather for me.